Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Limited, Gulfstream G600 takes flight ahead of schedule. Astronaut Buzz Aldrin shares his thoughts regarding John Glenn. The list of performers for AirVenture 2017 grows larger. I'm Bree Cross, it's December 20th, 2016, and this is Airborne Limited. In one of the few enduring success stories in business aviation, the Gulfstream program continues to develop and innovate new airframes that they seem to have comparatively little trouble selling. Indicative of this fact is the announcement received from Gulfstream Aerospace as the Gulfstream G600 has completed its first flight, officially kicking off the aircraft's flight test program. Two additional G600 test aircraft have been inducted into the Flight Test Center in anticipation of their flights early next year. Mark Burns, president of Gulfstream, said, quote, Launching the G600 flight test program is a milestone for us and our customers who have guided the vision for this aircraft from the beginning. We look forward to delivering this aircraft to them in 2018. Today's flight, which went flawlessly, represents a significant step forward in the journey to certification and delivery. On time is good, but ahead of time is even better. We at ANN congratulate Gulfstream on this achievement. Former astronaut and current space exploration enthusiast Buzz Aldrin, the second man to walk on the moon, says the best way for America to honor John Glenn is to continue its exploration of space. Writing in the Washington Post, Aldrin said that even though the nation has lost a space pioneer, a world icon, and a visionary space exploration advocate, his passing is a time to reflect not only on our past space exploits, but to signal a renewed passion to build upon his legacy. Aldrin wrote that Glenn's example as a space pioneer will continue to inspire the next generation of scientists, technologists, astronauts, and dreamers to reach beyond Earth's orbit and set foot on Mars. John Glenn once said, quote, The most important thing we can do is inspire young minds and to advance the kind of science, math, and technology education that will help youngsters take us to the next phase of space travel. We at ANN could not agree more. After the break, the air show lineup at AirVenture rapidly grows. The Bristol Light Sport aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristol is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristol.com to find out how you can get into a Bristol today. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Explore no limits flying in the FAA certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA, one of the top three best selling LSAs in the U.S. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Only last week, we reported that the U.S. Navy Blue Angels demonstration team had EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2017 scheduled on their airshow appearance list. We said that at the time to stand by for more information, but we didn't expect it to be this soon. EAA has now released more information about the performers that will show up at AirVenture 2017. They'll include some of the world's top airshow performers, including national aerobatic champions, longtime favorites, the United States Navy Blue Angels, and some talented Oshkosh first-timers. The list of performers now totals 26, and this is just a partial list. Schedules and complete daily airshow lineups will be announced as they are finalized. Afternoon airshows are scheduled to begin at 2.30 p.m. daily, while the Wednesday and Saturday night airshows are scheduled to begin at 8 p.m. It looks like you're going to see some exciting flying during the AirVenture 2017 airshows. 
Every Tuesday, we usually look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe, but winter is here and the holiday season is upon us, and air events get few and far between. However, this doesn't mean there aren't places to go and things to see. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. Let's start our tour museums at the Yankee Air Museum, located in Belleville, Michigan. In this museum, where history takes flight, you can go back in history to the days when our fathers and grandfathers fought in the skies around the world. You're allowed to touch, feel, and interact with some of the most amazing aircraft throughout aviation history, and it's a place to learn how they were made and operated. Learn everything about flying in the skies from gliders to jet engines. The Wings Over the Rockies Air and Space Museum, located in Denver, Colorado, has over 50 iconic aircraft and the most realistic flight simulators in Colorado. Not only can you walk alongside majestic former warbirds, a three-quarter scale X-Wing Starfighter, and a homemade helicopter, you can also bring out your inner pilot with their unforgettable simulator experiences. And if you're looking for a party on New Year's Eve, you can enjoy a night of drinks, dancing, and celebration as 2016 ends and 2017 begins. It will be a party you won't forget. Check out their website for details. Our last stop on this tour is the California Science Center located in LA. The California Science Center is a dynamic destination where families, adults, and children can explore the wonders of science through interactive exhibits, live demonstrations, innovative programs, and awe-inspiring films. However, its premier exhibit is the Endeavour Space Shuttle. The display is titled Endeavour Together, Parts and People Celebrates Endeavour. It's about the history of the Space Shuttle program and its connections to California. After these messages, analysts says that the Trump election could help the biz jet industry. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The dream is real, a truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The election of Donald Trump as president could mean a boost in business jet sales. According to Cowan analyst Kaivon Rumer, the analyst also said that the shift away from the Obama administration's anti-business jet rhetoric could help the market. The General Aviation Manufacturers Association praised the FAA's Part 23 final rule issued last week, calling it a true breakthrough for the light end of general aviation. Gamma's Pete Bunt said, quote, Today is truly a landmark day for the general aviation industry. Leonardo Finmechanica and Chinese company Sino U.S. Intercontinental Helicopter Investment have signed a contract for 30 EMS-configured helicopters. Included in the sale are the Augusta Westland AW-139 Intermediate and the AW-169 Light Intermediate Twin Engine Models. Deliveries are expected in 2017. Here's some good news for ForeFlight users. Compatibility testing between ForeFlight Mobile 8.2.1 and iOS 10.2 is complete. The company is issuing the all clear to ForeFlight customers and you may upgrade at your convenience. The Department of Transportation Office of the Inspector General is initiating an audit on the FAA's runway safety efforts. 
runway incursions involving unauthorized aircraft, vehicles, or people increased by nearly 53% between fiscal years 2011 and 2015. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Lantana Airport in Florida's Palm Beach County has banned jets for 43 years under an agreement reached in 1973 between the FAA and Palm Beach County that gave the county the authority to ban jets from the airport. Now a lawsuit has been filed by a retired Eastern Airlines pilot who claims the prohibition is discriminatory. According to a report from the Palm Beach Post, Aero Foreman claims that the noise concerns that prompted the ban in the 1970s are now moot given advances in jet aircraft and the engines that powered them. He filed a formal complaint with the FAA in April, saying the county was violating the conditions of its airport improvement grants. The FAA has been studying the issue for some eight months, and it's reported the FAA has said that the embargo, quote, may be unjustly discriminatory and not consistent with the county's federal obligations. Foreman operates his own Citation jet and took action after he was threatened with a second-degree misdemeanor that carries penalties of up to $500 and 60 days in jail when he brought his jet into the airport. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.